What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. And in this reading, I'm super inspired to bring to you guys what's going to happen in 2023. So this is going to be a very deep insight and look into 2023, what you can expect for this year, changes that you can expect, what the energy is going to be, career, um, changes in your love life, changes in your health, all right? Changes in your lifestyle is what I'm hearing for you guys, all right? So there's definitely a collective message that's here for you and it's expansion so a lot of you are going to be expanding on what it is that you chose whatever path that is for 2022 you're going to be choosing and expanding in 2023 so that is definitely the collective message so if you guys are looking to connect with the community or mentorship you guys can definitely find that down below we do that every first Sunday of the month there's some theme that the collective is going through and you'll find that it's very very inspiring to connect with others on your soul journey and soul purpose so you guys will find that down below and last but not least if you guys are here don't forget to subscribe like the video okay so i was inspired by three images for 2023 all right so there's three that you can choose from and you might actually be drawn to two which is perfectly fine just know that you can find your deck down below in the chapter by clicking the chapter down below or the pinned comment which you'll find the link directly to your deck so you can go right to the deck or the image that you feel like is calling you so whether you want to select it based on the deck or select it based on the image feel free to do what you're inspired to do so first image we have this character who looks like they've been through a lot looks like they are getting ready to overcome something that they've been waiting for a long time to overcome all right number two represents a journey okay it's a path and with the car and the destination what i'm really picking up for deck number two is that there is a switch in direction is what i'm hearing is what you'll find and i'm not going to give away too many clues because the messages are coming all right deck three if you're drawn to this image all right activation time you are fully activated in in 2023 you've hit the jackpot in 2023 all right so hopefully you don't let the message deter you to it it doesn't even matter because whatever you hear or choose is what you're meant to hear okay there's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck i just don't simply believe in that unless you're just really overthinking it and still then the universe brings that the, the message you need to hear so even then that's how much you can trust the universe all right so without carrying away with the ranting so if you guys are looking for off the grid in-depth readings you guys can find that even an extended reading i actually just uploaded for secrets for 2023 you guys can find that also at the tarotchest.com all right so let's jump into today's reading and see what's here for you if you guys are here it's an honor love and light see you guys on the other side what's good deck number one let's see what you can expect to happen for the year of 2023 all right if you guys were drawn to the image of the anime character who is kind of having the sword fighting i really feel like you're going to be standing up for yourself a lot <laughs> in 2023 just that's what this is about really standing up for what you love and also not fighting for what you love there's a difference standing up for what you love that that is having courage and bravery to be yourself that seems to be the message for you all right so we have ten of swords we have the world card in reverse all right so a, a significant cycle has closed out going into 2023 but there is still a major spiritual cycle that you are still uh working towards um being aware of okay yeah temperance here you guys could be a sagittarius you don't have to be all right so this is reconciliation with yourself with the temperance card getting back to who you truly are there's there's a sense of freedom that spirit wants you to acknowledge in in being able to express yourself being able to be yourself okay so let's just get some clarity okay we have 2023's energy we have a lot going on we have your career here all right page of pentacles so we have when it comes to your tangible things and your material things there is a very 
fresh seed that has been planted, a seed of opportunity. Could be a new job, could be a new project that you're starting, okay? You may have even overlooked this yourself is what I'm hearing. Because with the Page of Pentacles, this would be something that's like an adolescent, very new. And with the Page of Pentacles, this tells me that whatever this project is or path that is being presented to you, it seems like a small bunch, but it's going to grow into a very fruitful money tree is what I'm hearing. Those are the specific words. All right. So we have a new, fresh, like a newborn, okay? This is like a newborn energy for the Page of Pentacles. So this is a very, very fresh project that you're gonna be starting in 2023, okay? So we're gonna get one more card to clarify why that's here for deck one, okay? We have the High Priestess. There's still more to be revealed about this project, okay? Um, don't rush yourself. Be patient with yourself is what I'm hearing also. And uh, be patient with just being able to hear from your higher self, hearing from your instincts, hearing from your intuition. There is a beautiful reconciliation that's happening with yourself in 2023. I really feel like if you were drawn to this image, there's a sense of going at your own pace. You have been going at your own pace with the spirituality stuff. And it's not that you are behind, but you are like in perfect timing of catching up with, with uh, the self-love is what I'm getting. So anything that you may have missed the opportunity of in 2022 is coming back around in 2023. All right, that's specifically for this deck only, okay? Every other pile felt very different with the energy. With you, it just feels like there is a lot of fresh new energy that has yet to be explored, even in your career. And a lot of those answers I'm hearing are gonna come from when you get get to know yourself more, get to know yourself deeper with the temperance card, okay? Let's clarify why that's here for 2023, okay? We have a lot of cards that just came out. Just looking at the energy, taking consideration, all right? Don't worry about how this is gonna happen, all right? I see that there's gonna be a huge breakthrough for you in 2023. There's something that you're really worried about. Why is temperance here? 2023 for deck one. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this is about, yes, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, this is beautiful. All right, we're gonna let this one roll. We have another page here. So we have two pages here, all right? So two fresh new starts, two fresh new beginnings. One that's leading you to more tangible success, more material success, all right? So this is material items um, in this world, all right? Desires that you have um, that are very tangible. So we have a new start in that. We also have this getting to know yourself. There's more to know yourself because there is treasure within. In this treasure within you, you learn more about you, your strengths and what you have, not even your weaknesses, that, that's irrelevant. There's no such thing in the sense of who you are. It is only your strength um, that is to be acknowledged. And something um, that I'm hearing too is just feeling worthy of what you're asking for, worthy of what you're desiring. That's what you're working towards. And that's why your spirituality is so important because how you feel and your worthiness, uh, your value, who you are, these questions are all wrapped in spirituality. Within you, within this introspection with the temperance, you're gonna find that you have more to offer than you have been recognizing, that you have more um, in the toolbox that you have been overlooking, okay? Um, and you are meant to be very abundant and stable and independent. And this is coming from the realization of who you are, okay? When you know who you are, then you're able to see what you have to offer, all right? Because there's something about for you to see for yourself that there's value to offer others, all right? That could bring you in success, okay? For a lot of you guys, there's a lot of focus on your career in 2023, okay? You're moving from a page though, if you see here, the page is the, the child, the baby, right? And then we have the knight, which is the teenager, and then we have the queen, and then the king, feminine and, and emperor energy. So with that being said, you're going from a page 
to a queen with whatever this new opportunity is. So by the end of 2023, you're gonna find that the time that you've spent to get to know yourself, what you enjoy, uh, what would be a good opportunity or investment that you can put behind that. We're gonna get, actually get some clues on what that is. That's gonna actually be bringing you success, okay? With the queen of pentacles, she's very independent. Most of the time she's single, okay? That's for some of you. He or she, it doesn't matter what your gender is. The queen is only here because this is about nurturing. This is, this is more about feminine energy, getting in tune with how you feel, okay? So how you feel matters because if you don't feel worthy, how are you going to attract worthy things or, or things that you believe are worthy? We're valuable. So when we think of money, we think of value, you know, value. So if you don't feel worthy, how can you attract value if you don't feel valuable? So there's more to learn about who you are and what you have to offer. This is where the answers are with the temperance card, okay? So what are they gonna be experiencing if they're here? Okay, a very, very beautiful reconciliation with, oh wow, this is who I am. Oh wow, this is what I enjoy. Okay, and I feel for some of you, um, yeah, for sure, prosperity, okay? Huge shift in your career, but you must feel worthy of this, okay? Because this, this, if you don't feel worthy of it, will be very challenging to manifest it, all right? So with the Page of Wands here, this tells me that you have a new beginning in your energetic vibration, something that's gonna bring you more excitement, something that's going to be, bring you more creativity, something that's going to spark an, an interest and in, in intriguingness with you, with the page. Once again, this is a fresh perspective in your creative field, okay? So now you're gonna start getting curious in 2023, starting trying new things, and am, am I good at this? Am I good at this? Would this be good? And just sparking little things here and there with the Page of Wands, this is a, a very curious energy, one who wants to explore, one who explores with imagination, not with logic at all. So a lot of this new path that's bringing, that's bringing forth abundance and prosperity is actually a path you're gonna love and enjoy. Uh, it just doesn't look promising on a practical level. Like, okay, how is this gonna make money or pay my bills, okay? And that's what you're working towards getting out of is getting into prosperity, understanding that you are connected to the universe. <laughs> I say this often, don't I? You are connected to the universe, okay? Literally get to know what the universe is on a deeper level on a relationship base, okay? We have ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself, okay? Support. When you understand that you're supported, you will not be stressed or worried, okay? That's why, once again, the spiritual connection is, is in the center of this reading still, okay? Let's see what the overall theme is for 2023. For deck one, the image with the anime, okay? We have little wolf girl. It is all right to be alone, okay? And it's so funny because that word brings such eerie vibrations. You're never alone. I, I think we have the wrong definition of alone. It's just when you're physically alone, okay? It is all right to be physically alone with yourself, okay? Lots of self-awareness. You're really gonna get to know yourself in 2023. By the time the year is over, you are really, really get to know, getting to know yourself. Now, if you would have chosen deck two or deck three, that would be completely different. Deck one specifically, if you were drawn to this, you are learning a lot about yourself with the moon card, even in the back, subconscious things about yourself, being alone, all right, with yourself. This is, once you find that you love to be alone, okay, and not, it's not that you don't have to desire being with another because that comes as the abundance of love of first existing. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I wanna share this with another person. That's where that natural instinct comes from. However, when you are alone, you are your truest self. 
you're not hiding. You are fully yourself. And you could be fully yourself with others, but until you come to the conclusion of who you are, others seem to persuade that. Others seem to persuade your decisions and what you do. And so being alone, even if it's for three days, if you can just find a way to be alone, there's nothing sad about being alone. There's a whole new perspective. And even that is crazy to think that people think it's sad to be alone. It's beautiful both ways. So there's a lot of balance that I'm seeing that's being restored to you um, in the year of 2023, okay? So that's, there's more spiritually, okay? You have ended cycles, um, and we're gonna actually clarify what that card is when we get to it. However, the cycle that you have ended is the way that you think. You are now open. In 2023, you're so much more open than you've ever been. And that's what's really helping you. And you close, you ended the cycle of trying to figure it out on your own, okay? With the 10 of swords, we're gonna, let's just clarify because they're bringing me to that. All right, 2023, what's going on with deck one, image one? Chariot, okay, we have cancer energy, seven of swords, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cancer, you could be a cancer, you don't have to be. Some of you could have been deeply hurt in um, your relationships by people that you love, that pe people you really care about. Okay, there's some type of significant ending that it has either occurred in your a, a friendship, relationships, once again, the way that you think, okay? So if that's the case, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot more certainty, a lot more belief, a, mo a lot more hope here with the chariot, a lot more confidence that there is something that's guiding you. I see that you're more open in 2023, okay? And there's a lot of mistrust, like breaking your trust. And it's so important that you build trust with yourself so that you can have trust with the universe as well to, to be able to guide you, okay? So that that's what's happening here. Um, in the seven of swords. So it's really about not deceiving yourself, being true to yourself. All right. And being able to move forward. I see that you're overcoming anxiety. You're overcoming depression in the year of 2023. There's more freedom to you in the way that you think and the way that you feel. So being alone isn't so scary for 2023 if you are here. All right. There's a more gentler approach with how you are speaking to yourself. There's a lot, there's an internal change that is happening for you, deck number one, okay? And a huge internal change. And why does it matter? Because how you feel, how you feel, if you feel good, you attract good. Prosperity is good, okay? Prosperity is good. And so you're looking to attract this and prosperity is attracted to people who feel worthy, Imagine how worthy you have to feel if someone comes around your neck and puts on something that's worth a million dollars, two million dollars around your neck. Do you feel worthy? It's not about the materials, it's the feeling. It just so happens that materials can bring that feeling, but we don't get hooked on the materials. We understand we generate this feeling. So a lot of spiritual stuff for you, basically, okay? way deeper, way deeper than you've gone before, okay? So you're moving away from how you used to think. Self-doubt, um, negativity, pessimistic outlooks. Um, will things ever change? There's hope coming through now, okay? Why is the world in reverse for 2023? Okay, all right. Now, another thing that I'm hearing for you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, you have a lot of tens. So whatever cycles were not closed out, okay, they are bound to be closed, okay, because there is a will of fortune. You are, you, it's in your destiny for you to be prosperous if you are here. There, there, and there is hope here. There, there is curiosity. There's more openness that you've had about that than, than you've had before. And I know maybe you've been heard taught or said I know that you have probably heard this before, that you're meant to be prosperous, okay? And so your income is increasing, manage your finances with love, a gift of money is on its way. So there is a huge shift in your finances. 
However, you have to really feel prosperous here. And that's what you're working towards, all right? Let's see what's going on with that, okay? And so your career, huge shift, how you feel about yourself, huge shift, mental health, huge shift. Okay, give me one energetic card for deck one for 2023. Yeah, we have freedom. <laughs> I know, I know that it's freedom, okay? That's something that you are really working towards and you have to understand that you don't have to work for this. There's a higher perspective that is going to bring you a lot more freedom also. So the biggest thing that I'm seeing here, we have the red and then we have the orange, okay? Let's see what you can also expect for 2023. Let's get one card. Deck one. Thank you. Okay, so big changes with your sacral chakra, big changes in your relationships, okay? A, a way more founded and grounded foundation, a way more grounded foundation, okay? Way more stable foundation. Understand the root, the red. This is all about your relationships. So everything on top of that um, comes from after just being on this foundation of, of how you feel about yourself. But what's interesting is we have the word gentle here, which I did mention earlier. And there's something about, yes, it says, I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. I assert myself and retain my power. I'm brave. There's that word I said earlier. And gentle, I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and I am respected by others. Okay? So there's a huge shift in your relationships. All right, we have the wheel twice here. And I love when the universe does this because it's like, okay? So we have the wheel of fortune. It's in your destiny. You cannot miss it. Let's see, what are you saying, future self? Okay, I love when this happens. It says, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So you're going to see in 2023 that fortune is on your side. You're going to see that things are moving in your favor, but that is because you have made a decision. You have made a decision to go towards what brings you, let's see, creation. Whatever you really feel good about creating and bringing light into your life, okay? So what is this wheel of fortune here for? You are safe and protected by the most high. So this is something, this is safe, even your destiny. Okay, you can't miss this is what I keep hearing for you, deck number one. Like there's this rush or like, where are you going? Like you have to do this and you have to do that. And it's like, what's this destination thing about? It is about the journey. So there's way more realizations that are happening and there's something that's gonna happen in good favor and good fortune for you in this year, okay? One of the biggest things is you're gonna feel safe and protected by um, the universe because once again, you have opened up yourself to this connection, okay? Future self-guidance for 2023. Your purpose is to simply exist. Your purpose is to simply exist. You're already living your purpose and now what I'm feeling with the Wheel of Fortune is that you are destined for something great. Let's get the clarity on what that could be. Let's get one card on what that could be. Sanctuary. <laughs> All right, take time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate or go on a retreat. All right, let's see what that can be. Okay, we have cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor your body. Tune into the moon's magic. All right, so there's something here also that I'm getting about you connecting with the more magic, magical side, okay? More imagination, all right? With your creation, it says, I have the power to direct my life. So this power is coming from somewhere. And there's more for you to understand that. So that's something I see significantly that is changing in your life. I want to see what your love life is looking like, okay? So the biggest thing is, is your, your purpose is to exist. There's nothing to worry about, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Everything is already destined to happen for you. You are literally receiving previews of that. So we have the queen of air. So some of you guys could be in a relationship or attracting someone who is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person is very independent, 
okay? They can feel very independent, very experienced, so they could be older, they don't have to be, um, but they do have a lot of wisdom. This person is very balanced in the sense of very practical. Um, the conversation is really good. Let's see why this person is significant. We have the nine of fire here. Don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. All right, so whoever this person is, um, I'm definitely seeing, let's get some information on your love life for 2023, okay? Because we don't have many emotions here and every deck I'm gonna definitely be like just doing a personal reading, literally. And for your guys' reading, it's like they're calling me to your love life because I just see that there's more transpiring in your love life, more true love that's coming in. We have the four of fire, okay, the four of wands, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So that's the second confirmation. There's a successful completion of some project that's going to be bringing you more um, tangible success, practical success, material success. And there's also a very significant person right now that that I see in your love life. Why is the queen of air here specifically? Thank you. Okay, it's very important that I look deeper. 10 of air, okay. So some of you guys in 2023 could be walking away from a very difficult situation or a situation that has been difficult for you. Even if it's just temporarily to take some time here, we have a lot of swords energy. So as you can see, we have queen of air, we have eight of air, we have 10 of air, okay? an illusion of being trapped. So there is a situation that many of you may have felt trapped in. Once again, 10 of swords, an ending is happening. This ending, even if it's temporary, okay, don't freak out. <laughs> don't freak out is what I'm getting. Even if it's temporary, it's necessary. It is so necessary. And you will look back and be very thankful for whatever this is. It's the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Okay. So some of you could, once again, we have the 10 of air twice here. Okay. So one thing I can say is anytime I get two times the messages in two different tarot decks, just know that the wheel of fortune, it's destined. Whatever happens in 2023, it is, this is destined to happen. So what you can do is really relax and allow it to happen, which is why I feel like your connection with spirit is very important because it's gonna give you that, um, that feeling of safety and reassurance and guidance, okay? Whatever it is, it's destined to happen. And I feel like in 2022, you could have gotten a preview of it, but once again, um, it's not going against the grain, not going against the wave, right? So this is gonna require a lot of trust. So don't be afraid to take action. In 2023 is what I'm hearing. There's a huge ending um, that is happening, all right? Some of you guys could be on the verge for a very few of you of trying to make a decision on a relationship you've been in in a long time, and there could be a legal system involved as well. Whatever it may be, the wheel and the 10 of swords is what again two tens this is something that maybe has been very uh, prolonged could have meant to be happening in 2020 and so it's bound to happen and you really have to trust okay let's see if we can get some some guidance for them in 2023 on their on this relationship okay your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment so some of you have been really feeling like there's a void that has to be fulfilled and you're going to see 2023 that this void is you in a sense yes you um finding your true self and also just when you find you right you can then learn more about your dreams and your desires which are actually what will bring you fulfillment these dreams and desires are attached to you you can't uh, miss them they're attached like an umbilical cord is what i'm hearing so they're your desires particularly to you given to you from your higher self and it's not it's not about your wants this is your desires this is something that's burning inside of you and um, whatever this is this path is going to lead you uh, to the start of prosperity but again practically you will not be able to see how and so it's requiring faith and therefore your relationship is what you're working on is having that faith so that you can take the leap of faith, okay? And it's all for 2024, okay? There's something very significant that I see that that is bound to happen in your life 
and it's going to bring you good fortune. It is just completely shifting your life into a new reality. Um, so yeah, if you guys were drawn to the first image, this is what I'm seeing for you for 2023. All right, you are becoming a warrior in the sense of being strong and grounded in yourself. And this is really, 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 really going to be what makes you feel the most alive you've ever felt. And it's something you've been overlooking for a while now. So I'm very excited for you. If you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below. If you're looking for secret pick a card readings, you can find actually secrets about 2023, another extended reading at the tarotchest.com. So any other information you can also find down below in the description. All right, I'm going to move on to deck two. All right, if you guys were drawn to deck two, the driving car uh, around the city, kind of chill vibe. This is going to be your reading for what you can expect for the year of 2023. And already, I believe out of all three decks, I was channeling your messages first. So I'm seeing that whatever it is that you experienced in 2022, I see it spilling over into 2023. Um, so there's a different direction, a different path that I see that you're gonna find yourself on in two, uh, 2023, but it's going to bring you peace, okay? This path is going to bring you a lot of peace, all right? So we have justice, Libra energy, Okay, so there's some kind of karmic cycle that I'm seeing that's going to be cleared out here. You're going to be experiencing justice here. You're coming out of many, many things practically. I want to get one more card for what the overall energy is. So once again, justice, even with justice, having to balance, make a decision. All right, five of cups. All right, for sure. Two fives on the board. All right, so that's something that's very, very similar when it comes to... Um, breaking significant things in your life. So something that you're gonna be working towards bringing justices is in your finances and is in your emotional stability, how you feel, all right? So if you're driven to the car, one more card. Overall, thank you. Okay, yeah, for sure. All right, so there is decision that is, that is requiring your attention <laughs> okay, it may be have been acquiring your attention for some time now. You guys could have even been going be back and forth between two and three, specifically two decks. And with the three of cups, I just see that there's a lot of clearing that's going to be happening in 2023, clearing out a lot of your energy that maybe you have missed in 2022. All right, so we have three fives here. Five is the card of conflict, distraction. Okay, it's almost like there is a decision that really needs to be made here, um, one that brings you peace. So there's a lot of reflection that's going to be required and a lot of reflection that you're going through. Um, and it's a balance of things. It's a little bit of everything here. I see that you're going through um, a material change with maybe with where you live or relocation in 2023. And outside, once again, we have distractions, five of pentacles. Okay, this, I can't make it up, you guys. You guys got four fives, you have every five, okay? You'll know what needs to be, what needs to be uh, decided because it brings you conflict internally. You guys could also be a water sign, you don't have to be. That's Pisces, that's Scorpio, and that's also Cancer. You could be a Scorpio Pisces. Um, either way, you could have that in your chart. All right, the Queen of Cups is at the center of the reading, I believe, for a reason, but we have a lot of conflict around you. The conflict is only because there's there's got to be a decision that, that is made that you are heavily weighing in on. I see in 2023, you make a decision. All right, I see that after 2023, your life will never be the same. I do see that you're going to be receiving the breakthrough that you have been waiting a long time to receive. All right, there is some type of karmic clearing that really has to happen, all right? The fives represents adversity, conflict, imbalance, right? We have three and two, which also is 23. So this is your year to make, to choose yourself, okay? So this is, this is your, the choice is being made. If you guys were drawn to deck number two out of all three decks, see if you were drawn to three right away, the first time, 
you've made your decision. Deck three has made their decision and therefore they are reaping all 2023, all right? And in a, in a much quicker sense because of where they are energetically. With you, there is a decision, a path, all right, that has not been made just yet. Let's see what the theme is for 2023. The unending sadness of looking back, okay? So you're stuck in the past, all right? You're like, you're, you're in two different places, so it's creating conflict. And that's why I said there has to be a decision, all right? So whereas deck three, they have chosen their, their new life, all right? You are still choosing yourself. 2023, all right? So there is conflict energetically with the five of wands here. You see they're all fighting here. They're all battling with their wands. All right, just so much distraction. And the cool thing is I'm just here to bring you the guidance and the insight of what you can expect to happen. So with that being said, this is just giving you a head start at what you can expect. And this is all to get you, I do see on a positive note, it's not all bad. It's just simply lots of decisions that have to be made. Um, and then we also have three of cups. Some of you guys could have made a decision and maybe are regretting it, okay, because we have replaying the past, negative nostalgia, obsessive grief about an endless regret. Did I make the right decision? Is this the right decision, okay? Spirit wants you to feel good when you're making decisions for yourself, and so the five of cups is the actual breakup card, and it actually means regret, okay? So there's some type of regret here happening in the month of not even the month, the year of 2023. Okay. So the five of swords here, this is internal conflict. This is, this is internal conflict that you're getting out of. So we have two that, that you're still working on balancing and then two that are out of balance. So the best way to describe that is with your cups, okay, your emotions, how you feel, there's a little bit of feeling of doubt. Okay, of did I make the right decision? So some of you could have already made your decision in 2022 is what I'm hearing, all right? And so the conflict here is energetically, people could be people around you, all right? Now that you've made a decision, there's, there's gotta be some type of distance away from the, the people and the conflict around you because I can't ignore that there are people in this card. Okay, so there is a regret about maybe moving away, making a decision to choose yourself, okay? In 2023, if you're, you're gonna know you made the right decision if you chose you. That's what justice is about. Spirit is saying, hold on, you made the right decision, let it play out. But there's endless regret here and it's making you feel some type of way, all right? So um, another thing that I'm seeing here is what you are coming out of. So we have your emotions with the five and we also have um, the conflict with the energy, Okay, people around you, maybe having to make um, better connections and relationships to feel good. You're already feeling bad about some of these decisions. And I see with the Three of Cups here, there is some type of change in your community, in your friendships, in your companions, more support, more love that is coming in. All right, so I'm hearing be easy with yourself, Deck Two. All right, but there's just this, you know, even with the car, it's like getting in your car, kind of just driving away, just chilling, finding that freedom, clearing your head, clearing your mind, meditating. And spirit is saying, let that feeling, you know, evening, city, whatever that, what drove you to that image, it's the peace. It's the serenity of being free. You're in, a, you're in your own car that you love. Like, so that's a big thing too. There could be a change in your, in your circumstances with your car. So once again, this is so important because how you feel is affecting your finances. It's affecting you being able to have clarity and make decisions. So one big shift I'm seeing already, what you can expect is a huge shift in people. Look at this, distractions everywhere. Deck one didn't have one distraction. Deck two is just like calling for this, calling for that, right? So people need your help or people need you. There's like a lot of pull on you and it's time to really choose yourself. And 2023 is really saying that loudly. All fives, <laughs> deck two, you got all the fives out of this deck, okay? Which tells me no other deck has fives. No other deck has conflict and it is okay. And that's why you are here, okay? Stay with me, it's not bad. It's change that's always been necessary that you've maybe been avoiding, okay? Now, one thing that you're coming out of is we have two fives in reverse, which is good, okay? So we're bringing justice in what? Your finances, your stability, your home, 
not feeling left out of the cold, having your own is very important. Something about having your own deck number two, having your own material things, all right? And really asking yourself, am I here because I love it or you, or am I just feeling like I can't do it alone? Because you can. So there's a huge shift in your money, okay, happening. So we're gonna get some clarity on what that is using a different tarot deck. I did not use in the other deck, but I am drawn to use for you guys, deck number two. Okay. Eight of cups. Yeah, there's something that you really are walking away from. You are walking away from it, but there's nothing sad about it. I get it, bittersweet, yes, you're going through the emotions, which again, there's a lot of emotional energy here, so you could be a cup, um, a water sign. And once again, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, all right, or have that heavily in your chart either. Even if you don't, you're really activating um, in the sense of those characteristic traits. So just really caring about how you feel emotionally. It's like, yes, this could practically be good for you financially, but emotionally, how do you feel? So there's going to be a lot more observation and care about how you feel in 2023 because of the Queen of Cups once again. And the Four of Cups, 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 how you feel. This is discontentment. Okay, four of cups, anytime that comes out, imagine having a dinner and the host is like, what would you rate this meal? And you say, oh, four out of a 10. This is kind of with where your life has been or is, and that's where you're, you're changing direction here. What direction are they going towards? Five of pentacles, two times now, okay? You are coming out of financial lack financial worry, living paycheck to paycheck, you are coming out of that in 2023, but you must prepare your mindset for this, okay? We have two kings here, all right? So something that is happening here is you are becoming more confident in making decisions. 2023 is about you having confidence in choosing and making decisions for yourself, King of Cups, being in love with something or someone, okay, is shifting in your life again. And I just, there's something else they're bringing to me, all right? What is this Five of Pentacles here for? We have a lot of conflict here, lots of regret, okay? Once again, this is a lack mentality. She has her cup handed out. Don't even imagine yourself asking in 2023 for anything, know that you already have it and be open to receive it and let's see what that's about because once again you are shifting all right out of this lack it says community contribute communication and tribe there is a lot more support that could come in um, for you there's help they are on the same vibration as yourself meaning they want to give to you energetically financially resource wise they might know a place where you can go um, to start your project or start a new career there is something significant about connecting with the community all right something very good so it's like instead of looking back look forward all right because looking forward is is so much more promising alliance connectedness okay so there's a huge connection unity and creative solutions that are coming in here that's going to be bringing you more fulfillment 2023 is all about your fulfillment okay and how you feel is affecting your finances okay kind of similar to deck number one not too much in the sense of you are making a decision to choose yourself in 2023 why is the queen of cups here lovers okay yeah you are attracting a life partner okay if you have not already you are attracting a significant lover we have gemini energy here so that the queen of cups i do see that there is going to be someone who inspires you when it comes to love could be a soulmate connection that you're meeting someone from your tribe all right we have two counterpart energies here with the lovers card you are also attracting a career that you love something that you're really really intuitively in love with you're intuitively great at this is what i'm hearing okay i want to know what does this have to do give me a clue here we have lovers okay we have the lovers here okay and we have the queen of cups so this tells me that this is a partnership joy 
all right prosperity <laughs> second time in a row okay all right so that's two decks now that have received prosperity from two different decks specifically prosperity okay your joy is what's bringing you prosperity what you love what you enjoy doing do not regret walking away from something you shouldn't stay if you feel bad huge because you're only staying because you feel bad don't you want to feel excited to stay don't you want to feel inspired to stay feel good about staying no so you can't make decisions from a place of regret if you didn't feel good doing it you didn't make the wrong decision okay if you were not in love with it you didn't make the wrong decision if you're not in love with them you didn't make the wrong decision leaving going towards love which is easy and gentle okay think about what you love food your favorite food it's not hard to love this there's something very significant deck two about you choosing this deck and it being very centered around love getting back to what you love doing and love um, dancing being around your friends being around good there's new friends coming in okay there's a whole new there's a new re there, there's so much yeah there's deck two you have a lot going on <laughs> like for real so we have the king of cups and we have the queen of cups okay two different decks here very significant so this is a counterpart energy with the lovers here okay we have the king and the queen of cups these are two people who are very intuitively connected whether through their feelings or spiritually okay lovers this is counterpart energy okay this is a soulmate this is someone that you will deeply fall in love with if you have not met them already okay so i don't know if you're leaving a relationship or departing away from making a decision but whatever you're headed towards is very promising so yes it is very bittersweet okay so i'm seeing a huge huge partnership coming through here where you are deeply in love and infatuated with this okay it's a person for many of you i'm getting many of you it's a person okay this is a person they're going to inspire you there's a lot of love here there's a lot of compassion deeply connected deeply connected with this person you can't miss it it's how you feel right it, it's not about anything practical that they're that they are or what they do it's just how you feel with them okay so the king and the queen the cups once again all about feelings and then we have the lovers so even if this were not a, a soulmate that you are it, it's a significant connection I know we say oh you're gonna attract soulmates this is a significant connection that's going to stand out from the rest. This significant connection plays a huge part in you uh, following your heart, okay? And doing what you love, okay? So we have the lover's card here, all right? So it's, and then also it's giving me choose what you are in love with doing. Because you, if you're here, you are meant to be prosperous. You're, you're struggling here financially. I don't know why this is the case. What's going on with the five of pentacles? Okay, yeah, we have conflict, five. Remember what I told you that, that the five represents conflict, okay? Wow, wow, in the 23, 2023, it makes sense with the five, okay? The six is a transitional number. It is really the, the, the one transi transitional number, I would say, that really is the number before the breakthrough. And you're really overcoming the fives, which has been adversity and just getting grounded and feeling good. But we do have conflict here, okay? And this conflict in your finances, um, protection, acts of kindness, warrior, safety. All right, there's something about... There is something here about conflict in your finances. Let's see what that is. Message and guidance from future self regarding these five of pentacles. The answers lie within your desires, okay? So a lot of you are focusing so much on the money, okay? And I don't want to spend too much time going into debt with education, but when it comes to wealth and when it comes to manifesting, receiving, all right, you're focused on money. However, if you were to shift your energy and focus on your desires, that's when the way to 
getting them and it happens to be money great if it happens to be not money great could be time it could be a resource could be an opportunity could be information so you you guys are so heavily focused on money um and so what spirit is saying is changing that and focusing on your desires okay because the truth is is we don't care how we get them that is the truth we do not care and if you do care then you could be an earth sign <laughs> and very controlling practically about how things have to happen. Be open. Infinite possibilities. Whatever you've been doing practically has not been working. And your vibration, it is you are not lacking. You are not in lack. So if you are acting like you are poor or lacking like you don't have or feeling like you don't, then you are shifting that energy because you are prosperous, which is why you desire prosperity. You would be poor, lackful, if you desired to be you don't therefore you are not and so once again there is a huge decision here with choosing what you're in love with doing therefore nobody will have to call to get you out of the bed to do it no one will have to pay you to do it you will be so in love with this lovers okay some of you this is a literal passion project path this is literally living your dream life being in love with this and, and really merging into who you're becoming. Guidance from higher future self. Follow what brings you inspiration. Very simple. Your joy will bring you prosperity. That's the answer. Sometimes it sounds too good to be true. Now, the only way joy never brings us prosperity um, well, it will always bring us prosperity because it's one of the highest vibrations. So you can't be in joy and not experience prosperity. And prosperity and wealth is an abundance of something, an abundance of joy, an abundance of feeling good, feeling happy. This puts you in the state of being able to attract everything that you desire. So following what brings you inspiration and joy is going to bring you prosperity. It's only that it's only when we taint it and we do what we love and then we we do it and we try to make it into a business or we try to put pressure on it because we're quitting our job or something in that nature. So it's like allow your creations and what to bring you joy, what you do bring you joy to do that. And just when you're ready to share what you enjoy doing with others, there is abundance and prosperity waiting for you. That's a specific message for you. Last message for deck two, experiencing what they're going to receive. Okay. So there is definitely a significant uh, partnership, love, romantic partnership that is meant to influence you and also open your heart up to love, uh, true love. That is because five of cups, there's regret, there's looking back. And as long as you're looking back, your your focus is back there and so bringing your focus back to what you desire and raising your vibrations you need nothing so if you think you need anything to be joyful that's that's the biggest thing right there what do you think you need to be joyful there is something that you enjoy doing you're going to discover in 2023 that you're in love with and you need nothing to do it you just naturally enjoy it this is a key to your prosperity so if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what you can expect for 2023. If you're looking for more secret messages about this year or looking to go into debt with that, you guys can find that down below in the extended reading at thetarotchest.com, which is another 30 minute in-depth reading about what you can experience 2023. Totally different theme, okay, for 2023. But if you guys chose this deck, this is what I'm getting for you. All right, moving on to deck number three what's good deck three okay so fun fact this is a whole new day so this is a whole new day that has actually never happened in the history of me doing tarot readings having to stop a deck and because my battery died and then having to come back to it the whole next day so your guys's energy is going to be very fresh in 2023 so i'm seeing like a fresh new start a very very new life like your life will never be the same okay so if you guys were drawn to this image particularly, okay, you guys have been activated. Like 
again, out of all three decks, I believe that deck one, you know, they're getting ready to make that step. Deck two, they're finally having to make a de uh, decision. And with deck three, you have already made your decision. So if you guys are here and you were drawn to this image, what I'm getting is that you are being activated and have been activated. So in 2023, you are going to see the rewards of this activation. So you guys have probably are the most profound out of the three groups. So again, if you guys are here based on your first instinct, then that tells me that you have a fresh new start, okay? And this might require rest. So I'm hearing that you might wanna rest out for the rest of the, the year because even with me with the deck two, it was deck two, right? And so for the 2022, you might just wanna take a rest until 2023 hits. Okay, is what I'm getting. So you're going to be receiving a very, very fresh new start. Nothing is going to look the same in your life is what I'm getting for deck number three. So you are being fully, fully activated and um, fully in receptive mode. So it's going to require a lot of rest is what I'm getting, which is why I am fully rested and ready for your reading, okay? So yes, we have the emperor. So your wishes are coming true, uh, deck three. So yeah, this is really, really dope energy for 2023. You could have already heard this before. So your wishes are coming true. You could be an Aries. You don't have to be um, an Aries, but we do have Aries energy heavily on the board. So you guys, um, especially with this Mars energy that you may find yourself in, this is all about action, okay? Acting as if. Uh, so you are actually shifting into this dream life and dream reality in 2023 out of all three decks. You are going to be reaping the most and that is because you have already chose yourself and I'm hearing that is because you have already made your decision and your decision has been to choose you. So you are in your boss energy, you are in your emperor energy making moves in 2023. Okay, you're not just thinking about them. You're not just daydreaming about them. You are actually making these moves. Okay, so again, out of all three decks, you are going to be reaping the most practically and tangibly. Like in your reality, you're going to actually be seeing the rewards of the decisions that you've made uh, for the years prior, up, leading up until where you are here. So I'm seeing a lot of joy and I'm seeing a wish come true and it's putting you in a lot of confidence, okay? So 2023, you're gonna be very confident. You're gonna be very confident in making decisions. Um, I feel like you're gonna overcome a lot, okay? We have this person on the other side of the mountain. So I am really feeling that you have overcome a lot and there's a really good sense of balance that you're gonna have spiritually and practically. Like you're still gonna be abundant in the material things, which is what you could be working towards is just having more of an experience with your material life. But we also have uh, the cross. So I see that there is a really good balance and it's like, you're ready now. Now you have the balance and the understanding spiritually uh, to be able to make these decisions. All right, so we have the devil. Okay, we have Capricorn energy, 2023, the star, dang. So yeah, I already knew that this was gonna be some crazy energy. So you guys were obviously drawn to deck number three, okay? For a reason, you could be an Aquarius, you don't have to be. We have Aquarius, Aries, and Capricorn on the board, okay? We also have a Knight of Cups. So you have something that's coming in that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, okay? It's a wish come true here. All right, so we have Channel and Transformation, okay? So, As far as these four cards, this is a major spiritual awakening that you have already went through. You've already undergone this, okay? You've been learning how to overcome your lower self, okay? Which is the devil, which is what I refer to as the devil. Lower self, devil, higher self, uh, God, angel, okay? So there's been this back and forth within yourself, Okay, and there is a balance of harmony where you are actually gonna be your best friend. You're gonna be your biggest cheerleader. You're gonna be able to really believe in yourself. And this is illuminating a light around you that is attracting others to also believe in you, okay? This is very deep. Your dreams are coming true, okay? You're aligning with your highest desire when it comes to your dream, okay? The Knight of Cups, this is happening in the year of 2023. And I see that you have overcome, once again, your ego, your lower version of yourself, your doubt, your fear, 
when it comes to being the star that you are. Okay, I'm hearing you're meant to shine. You're meant to be free. Your sense of freedom of expressing yourself through bravery and courage is going to inspire many people around you. Deck three. Okay. Obviously, this is a specific message. It's a whole new day. <laughs> and I'm here recording deck number three. So you guys are on a whole nother level if you were drawn to this deck. Okay. If you came here secondly, you are working towards being on a whole nother level. So you're catching up to that, um, to that uh, timeline. Okay. So we have 2023. Let's go ahead and confirm the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The full card, okay? So now we have four out of five major arcanas, which means it's a major event that's changing. The only thing practically that we have changing is that there could be a relationship, a very significant relationship that you're not expecting, or maybe that has come in, maybe you are expecting it. Um, and that's the biggest practical change that I'm seeing with you. The rest of it is like, hella spiritual, <laughs> like hella enlightenment. Like you are, the, you are the most spiritually profound if you are here on this group. And um, you are just really being called to leadership. You're really being called to your masculine energy and embracing that. And that is just your independence, your confidence, all right? Not caring what other people think of you, really finding this sense of freedom to express yourself, to be yourself with the full card here. You're taking a leap. You're taking the leap. Like 2023, you are taking this leap and you are going to shine and others are going to see you shine with the star card here. Okay. So with the full card here, clarifying the nine of cups. Yes. This tells me this could be a very new, profound, romantic relationship. Feels very youthful, kind of like a teenage relationship. Someone standing outside your house with a boom box, very romantic. Okay. Is what I'm getting with the full card. So this is a brand new a brand new cycle in your love life meant to bring you a lot more happiness, a lot more fulfillment. And whoever this person is, is going to fill up your cup. They are meant to fill up your cup. Now, whether you're in a relationship now or not, you decide whether or not this person is emotionally fulfilling to you. And once again, with the full card here, this is just a whole nother cycle. Basically, this is about your love life being um, infinite. Okay. Your love cannot be bound. You have so much love to give, so much love to express. And it's very important that you do that in your relationship as well. So th there's a huge relationship change in 2023 I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups and the Fool card here, okay? Let's just get some more information before we move on to the Star card, okay? So your emotions, you are, you're in love, okay? In 2023, you're in love. The Knight of Cups is someone who's uh, hopelessly, foolishly in love. Okay, with the with uh, both romance cards here, just a, I'm a fool for you <laughs> type love. Okay, and this love is really I'm seeing meant to bring some sort of inspiration in showing you who you really are. This person is to mirror who you are, which is this higher version of yourself with the star card here. Okay, so Knight of Cups, Fool card. What is this here? 2023 for the third image. Yeah, I see that this person is really attracted to you in your highest element. Like when you're in your zone, when you're doing what you love, this person is really attracted to you. All right. So we have the nine of swords. All right. So this relationship, all right, whatever this connection is that's coming in for 2023, it really has you in your head here. Okay, I see you. Whoa, this is a lot going on. All right, guys, I have to take it. So this reading is about to really be a personal reading because deck three, wow, whole life change here, okay? So we have you really being in your head about some of these changes that are happening in your life. You're really being asked to trust. We have the Knight of Wands, okay? So whoever this person is that you guys are attracting, there's a lot of inspiration here. We have a knight and we have a queen of wands, okay? And we have a three of, a three of pentacles. So there is some type of situation that I see that you may find yourself in as far as a relationship. There's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of passion here. This person is really going to ignite the star in you, okay? Take this how it resonates. It could be an employee that you meet. It could be a soulmate that you meet. 
um, someone that really, really you feel drawn to or connected to it. It can even be a mentor. This person can really inspire you to be free, really inspire you to follow your dreams and follow your heart, all right? Very supportive is this connection with the Three of Pentacles. We have a lot of support coming from this person. Um, and I just see that you're you're really becoming the queen of wands, okay? So your feminine energy is all about nurturing your creative projects and uh, really just being in your compassion energy, being in love with something that you enjoy doing with your energy. And whoever this person is, I see that there's a spark coming in here, okay? If we get the two of cups or the lovers or anything else that's significant to the relationship, then I know that I'm gonna be drawn back to that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna clarify why is the star card here for what they're gonna experience. The star card, as you guys know, if you don't know, I'm, I, okay, all right. So that's just crazy. I'm like, I'm just, okay, the two of cups is here. All right, guys, all right. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say that the star card is my favorite card um, in the entire deck, actually. It's the most inspiring deck, it's the most, moving card in the deck. I've always been drawn to it the most, actually, um, and that's why it's my favorite card. And so you're really becoming your favorite person. You're really becoming um, the highest version of yourself. And Two of Cups is here. So you guys seen it, Fallout. Um, I know my editor's about to zoom in on that. Eight of Wands, okay, and the Moon card, Pisces energy here. So this is definitely a, okay, this is definitely a relationship that is going to take you by surprise, okay? It's not going to make sense logically. It's not going to make sense practically. This is a soulmate connection. You guys feel very familiar together. So I'm going to go ahead and just allow this message to come through. After sadness, happiness, and hope returns, okay? Someone is bringing some type of love and happiness into your life, but it is because of the love you found for yourself that you are now attracting in others, okay? Whoever this person is, they see you. They really, really see you. And it is a very, very profound, destined relationship that is meant to happen. So in 2022, if you heard a lot about, you know, you're gonna meet a specific person, for those of you who heard that, that specific person could have very well been yourself. Um, because once again, self-love, I know it's becoming a cliche, but it is really the truth. And if you cannot first love the very first entity, which is self, um, it will be very challenging to do the rest for others. So you have learned many things in love and there's not much more to learn is what I'm hear hearing about it, except for allowing it to allowing yourself to feel love and receive love. And whoever this person is, they're really moving you, really igniting you, very inspiring. Okay, and they're coming in very fast with the Eight of Wands. So we have some type of hope returning, and that's also what the Star card represents. It's the hope. It also comes after Tower, the Tower card in the Major Arcana, which usually means it's bringing hope after a storm or something that really, really um, tried to knock you down. But for some reason, I just see that you're an overcomer, you're a conqueror. I'm hearing you're a conqueror, you're undefeated, you can never fail. The biggest enemy has been your mind, yourself. The devil card has been your own self-sabotaging thoughts. Again, that's why I said in the very beginning, there is a beautiful restoration of harmony that is returning into your life like probably you've never experienced before, which is loving yourself instead of um, sabotaging it or having um, negative thoughts about yourself. You will now be your biggest cheerleader. You are overcoming this, okay? So yes, you are meeting somebody that's here, okay? can't make that up. Someone is coming in. If you haven't met them already, lots of tr attraction, lots of passion, lots of pleasure. It is meant to stimulate your sacral chakra, which is everything creative. It's part of an, a creative assignment. Everything is in divine timing, I see. Okay, now that we have the love situation here, okay, let's see why the star card is here for 2023. Higher self. All right. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands. Something about not doubting yourself. You guys, I can't make this up. If you are here, you are meant to be a celebrity of some sort, okay? You are meant to be a star of some sort. Now, once again, that word 
confirmation. That word, wow, wow, whoa, you guys, uh, something huge is about to happen in 2023 for you, okay? You made it, okay? That's the message for 2023, you made it, okay? You're getting everything you've ever wanted in your life, okay? So 2023, definitely come back, definitely come back, okay? Because I really want to know how this is going to play out. We have the Six of Wands here in the star card to confirm the star. The Six of Wands is public recognition. You are riding through on a stallion and people see that. So there is something that you love, that you are so in love with, that is going to pay off. Um, you are actually a chief of this. You are an emperor of this. You are the best at this. Okay, there's really got to be a lot of belief, which is why the devil's here. You've had to overcome believing, not believing in yourself. That's the biggest thing is not believing in yourself. People see that, that you're a star. You are meant to be known by a lot of people. For those of you who are just like, uh, you are meant to be known by a lot of people. Okay, this is not about celebrity. This is not about influence. This is about who you are. So if you're going to be true to who you are, you have to just embrace that you're a star. It's just that simple, okay? Some of you could be musicians. You got me over here right, rhyming, okay? So with the emperor here, you are the pilot of your plane. You are meant for success, for public recognition, for awards, for achievements, breaking records, okay? This is here for you. This is the truth, all right? I cannot make this up. We have the king of cups here. You're in love with this. All right. And then you also have a whole soulmate that's coming in because why? You're in love. You're in love with you, your life, yourself, your, what you do. How can you not attract love? You're a love magnet at that point. OK, so being you mean a soulmate, perfect counterpart here. Confirmation again. Six of wands, they could see you in the public light. OK, but you're you're coming up as very graceful. OK, but you're meant to be seen. So if you're going to be true to yourself, once again, it is just who you are. So then the king of cups you are in love with whatever this is you're doing 2023 and it is paying off okay at the very bottom of the deck we have the knight of wands you have a lot of wands energy which is about creation energy okay happiness joy creation pleasure stimulation okay once again very very significant relationship that's coming through Lots, lots of love, <laughs> lots of love in 2023 for you if you're here. And it's really because you've, you feel worthy of this now. You've went through so much. You freed yourself from many, many things. There have been many sad things that you have went through. However, you have had your eye on the light the entire time, which is hope. Hope that something will change. Hope that there's a breakthrough. The Knight of Wands, this is going to happen so fast for you because you're in love with it. This is not gonna have to be a path where you take this way and this way and this way and this way. You're in love with this. You will be successful from this. This is what you are meant to do, okay? Whatever this is, six of wands, success, recognition, lots of people seeing you, you being in the limelight, okay? You are a star, you are meant to shine. It is just that simple. You really have to accept yourself. It is not too good to be true. Mm, yes. Remember, I told you guys, to feel good is to feel God. So too good to be true would say it's too God to be true. It's too godly to be true, which just means it's out of your belief bracket. Too good to be true. There is infinite possibilities. Nothing, nothing is too good to be true. And that's what you have to accept, infinite possibilities. And that's what's happening. You're writing in in victory, in success. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands here. We have the King of Cups here. All right, so Lot, you're in love in 2023. Okay, if you're here, deck three, you're in love. In love with life, in love with what you do. It's a dream come true. You chose the path and it chose you. Okay, you guys are really out here. All right, Page of Cups. God. This is it for you guys. You guys made it. You made it. You figured it out. You found it. Literally, you found it. You found what makes you happy. 2023, you found what makes you happy. All right? And it's going to happen so freaking quickly. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. 
Page of Cups, you are so in love with this. We have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. And remember, I, this is the third reading and you guys still have all of these cups. So it's a huge emotional satisfaction, fulfillment to the point where you're like, I'm so happy I'm crying. Like there's a lot of crying, good tears. Okay, in 2023, lots of good tears, lots of emotions, overflowing, overwhelming. I can't believe it. It's real. It's true. I seen this. I was here. We made it. We did it. <laughs> I got approved. I'm here. I bought that house. I'm finally there. I'm doing what I love. I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. These are some of the things that are going to come to you in 2023 as far as your thoughts are concerned. So because you're in love with it, it's going to happen very quickly, very swiftly for you. Okay. Lots of passion, lots of passion. You're so passionate about it. It's obvious. You can't miss what this is. You already know you've already found it, which is why you chose deck three. So page of cups is also about curiosity. All right. The page of cups is someone who is hopeful and inventive. So when you were younger, page of cups, adolescent, there's a lot of youthful energy um, that you were never meant to grow up. There's a realization that you are, that you are still that youthful energy that, it, that desires to be free, to express yourself, to try new things. There's actually a couple of things you might actually try, one specifically outside of what you've already desired to do and have fun doing that you found. And I see that you're gonna find a love for that. And it's just like, it's just, you can't fail. You cannot fail. All right. Literally, this is success written all over it. It is happening in 2023. It's not you waiting anymore. Okay. So get ready is what I'm hearing. Okay. Why is the emperor here for deck three? 2023 emperor. Why is this emperor here? Ace of wands. All right, so this is definitely a new path. Once again, wands energy, creation, a project, a new life, all right? We have uh, mountains, we have a palace in the background, all right? There's a new path of inspiration that's coming to you, that's bringing you a lot of hope. Whatever that is in 2023 that's re being revealed, that ha if it hasn't already, go towards that, okay? And then I want one card for the devil. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Eight of cups flew over here. So there is something that you're going to have to walk away from. Okay. And I had someone in my Instagram live. Cause again, I, I left and then I did live and then I'm like, you know, what? I'll do deck three tomorrow. And they said, don't we have to sacrifice something or something? And it's like, if you're not in love with it, if it's not bringing you pure joy, is it really a sacrifice to let it go? It is really like having a plate of food and you're like, you know what? I'm not, this isn't really satisfying. I'm going to ask for a, another plate. And then you get the other plate and they're like, okay, well, can I have what you don't are not satisfied with? And you're like, well, I have to sacrifice this. It's like, it's not a sacrifice. So <laughs> really understand what the devil and the eight of cups here. This is the only, that's crazy too, because this is the only like card that you got in the entire thing. And that's yes you will have to walk away from some things, from some people, from some habits. All right. I'm also hearing for some of you, don't worry about being productive. Don't worry about if this is being lazy. These are once again, thoughts from your ego, the devil. All right. Some of you have really fun things that you like to do, but maybe you don't see it as productive. That's not true because if you desire to share what you love, you will see that there's a lot of abundance that is going to come from this. Okay. There's a lot of abundance that's coming from you doing what you love for your own enjoyment. Okay. And I can't make it up. I just pulled, pulled the deck here for your own enjoyment. You will then desire to share it with others. And because you're bringing so much joy to them, they're naturally going to want to give to you. But with what you're doing, are you happy doing it? You know, think of that customer service person who's just so happy. Like, you really love being here. Like, I just love coming and seeing your energy because you enjoy this. It makes me want to give to you. So doing what you enjoy is going to pay off energetically. It's not always about practically, okay, monetarily. Achievement at the bottom of the deck. You are meant to, you are going to have achievements from this. That's why I said, come back, let us know. And I'm going to just say, oh, I know, I know. Okay, deck three. But you have to make a decision, two of wands here, nine of wands. You already know what this decision is. 
It's been heavy weighing on you. Okay, whatever you have to walk away from, the way that you're believing things have to happen. So what's going to happen in 2023 for deck three? Maybe that's why it's, a, maybe you guys were so significant deck three because it's 2023. Yeah, generosity. Okay, so you're a very generous person. You are going to be re receiving your, your, your spirit, your soul for the past prior, doesn't matter, years, months, days, is desiring, desiring to attract people just like yourself, generous, open, caring, um, vulnerable, compassionate, um, feeling safe, a place to feel safe to be generous. Like you're not gonna take advantage. Like am I, do I feel good to be generous? And so your soul, your, your heart, your spirit has des been desiring this for a long time. So if you have to move people out of the way who were not giving in that same frequency healing, then that's what you might have to do with the Eight of Cups, walk away from that. Because what you're desiring is on the other side of that. But to keep both, once again, it's like keeping the plate that you didn't want, you weren't satisfied with. Because if you were, you wouldn't have asked for another one. And that's the thing, our soul is, is energetically saying, I want out. But we're like, well, you know, stability. Where will I go? Where will I work? Well, da 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 These are all the devil. <laughs> lower self thoughts okay that you have overcome and are overcoming this next cycle in your life is a generous one people want to give to you people want to give to you you are going to attract people just like you so if you think they're too good to be true then i guess you are too deck three if you're going between deck three and deck two that will tell you a lot as well that means that you've still yet to that you're you're teetering between really making a decision because that's what deck two is about so uh, uh, there's a theme here for all decks and i love it so you're letting that go. You're attracting what you truly want, okay? What's happening in 2023? Openness, yes. Be open to what? What you've never, ever seen in your life. Be open to what? Who you've never, ever met in your life. Be open to what? What you could never imagine in your life. Be open to what? A love of a lifetime. Even though you've been in love before, it's not quite like this one. You guys, are you a poet? <laughs> are you a writer? You must be an artist, something, because you guys got me over here like really about to spit some bars. Accept who you are, you're a star. This is annoying. This is annoying. <laughs> Okay, yo, the star card, all right, acceptance, accept who you are. Listen, another thing I'm seeing is age. Age is a thing. Who cares, right? So that's, your, you're freeing yourself. It doesn't matter how old you are, okay? Stop judging yourself. 2023, how old you are. Yeah, exactly. Whether you're too young, too, it doesn't matter, okay? You're really opening up your heart to so much more, okay? Have faith at the bottom of the deck. Me at the bottom of the deck. See, this is what I said. Deck number two. Mm, you have to choose you, right? This is what I'm telling them. Deck three, you've chose you. You are the answer. Me, the green heart chakra in love, okay? So allow serenity to reign into you. The love you have for yourself invites harmony to settle within your being. Listen in honor to strive to fulfill the needs of your soul, okay? What messages do we have here for 2023 pertaining to deck three, emotional shifts? Whoa, trust. All right, we'll take these two because it seems guidance. So you guys are definitely going to be guided. Obviously, you guys are experiencing a huge spiritual awakening. So in order for you to feel confident in even making this leap of faith, this tells me that spirit is already literally carrying you into this decision. Okay. Um, so trust, trust life and trust your strengths. Each moment guides you to the light. Everything on your path is placed there for your growth, learning to love yourself. Okay. That's what deck two is still learning. You know this. And though we're all learning deck three, you have had an even more deeper awareness of self-awareness enough to even choose yourself. Okay. Self-love. If I don't enjoy doing this, why do I keep going? 
this is self-love. I love myself not to. So it says, choose to see the beauty within you. Okay, you're going to see that you're a star. You haven't been able to see because you've been seeing through the eyes of the people who've seen you and not even they have seen you for who you truly are. Not, not even they could see you. I am a stranger reading cards and I can see you deeper than some of the people around you. I know because we are all on the same timeline. <laughs> so learning to love yourself, you're transforming, okay? Huge transformation that, has, that you've been undergoing. And what, what is it all about? What is it for? To prepare for understanding the truth. This is the dream. This is the dream. And you're living it. You're alive. You're alive. <laughs> it's a miracle, literally. We overlook it. Okay, you're alive, you're here to experience, to live this dream. Your dream is being given to you, whether it's in actual dreams, whether it's in previews, premonitions, imagination, you seeing yourself in these places. Trust this, 2023, you've hit the jackpot, all right? Are you able to accept it? Are you able to receive this? Or are you going to let yourself, the devil, talk you out of this? I don't even know, this is deep. All right, we got to get one more card. We didn't even get future self cards. I'm telling you guys. Now I know why I took a break. <sighs> Text message from your future self. Okay, deck three. What does your future self want you to know? Your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. So you've come so far. Okay, so it's about celebrating now and receiving. But this is a whole new chapter. I don't think you've ever really dug completely deep into as far as receiving. People are just going to be like, here, take this, take this. And you're like, why, why? You've helped me. You did this. You did this. Whoa. Get used to receiving gifts, receiving love. It might be very overwhelming, especially if this is new for you. Okay. Two more texts from future self. Okay. You are exactly where you should be. Mm. Once you have this realization, it's like, okay, I can enjoy. You're exactly where you need to be. All right, last but not least, trust that you are being guided on your journey. I love it. So priestdex.com, you guys can get the future self text message deck. Trust that you are being guided on your journey, okay? It's like, who gave you this vision? Where is this vision coming from? Where is this coming from in your imagination? Some of these places you've never been physically, but you can imagine, how is this possible? Okay, this is real and it is happening, 2023 is your year, claim it, be open to that. So if you guys do claim that, don't forget to hashtag down below. Deck three, I claim it, okay? I claim it, walk in it. Don't forget to like this video if you guys are looking for more content as far as enlightenments, for sure, I'm ready to wake up.com is a really good one. I upload a lot on there and obviously the tarot chest. If you guys are looking for more in-depth, secret, exclusive pick a card readings, you can find that there. And yep, I am off now for real, for real. And you guys will see me again very soon. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in and allowing me to be your guys' spiritual guide. And I will see you in the next video. Love and light.